What's going on? This is Ryan with Automatic Comics. Up next, we have got what I think is a pretty interesting topic here. There have been some reports, and they seem to be getting more and more of them, of comics potentially being damaged inside of CGC cases. Now, this is different from the other type of damage that I've talked about in the past where the book can shift on the interior and take damage. This is actual damage from the, the slabbing process. And so there have been posts on Facebook. There is a CGC forums group. There's one YouTube video that I found that, that's uh, associated with this where someone got some books back. So we're going to go over this. I think it's an interesting topic. And uh, we're going to see, does it really seem like they are being damaged in those cases or not? All right, so before we get started, please remember to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this. So I think this is an important topic because honestly, this has now changed my uh, opinion on if I was going to send some books in to be graded because I was planning on, uh, I, I, I hadn't sent anything in since the whole CGC scam thing. And I was starting to think like, I'm like, it just doesn't seem like anything's going on with these cases. Like they aren't making a change, whatever. Like if I've got to send some books in, it's been eight months. <laughs> I'm going to, maybe it's time to send some books in. Then I started seeing these posts pop up and I'm like, oh, God, maybe I don't want to send any, you know, any books in now. And after going through it, I'm going to personally, I'm going to hold off, but we'll get into it and we'll get into why I, I I'm not going to bury the lead. Uh, I don't think that it's actually damaging the books, but that doesn't mean that this is what's going on is okay. And it's actually going to be a, a, the main reason why I'm not really comfortable right now sending books in. So we'll get into all that. But the first place that I saw this, and it looks like from, I think the CGC forums, maybe somebody started posting back in May, but I, I really don't follow the forums very much. And uh, this is the one that I saw on, on Facebook and then someone mentioned the forum. So I went and checked that out and there's a YouTube video linked in here as well with some that got some books back. So we'll, like I said, we'll talk about that too, but this is the, uh, the post that was on this Facebook group, CGC comics fans. So this person says, I just got my uh, Avengers 165 CGC 9.8 in the mail and noticed something interesting about it. The inner well appears to be warped with the top and bottom flaring out. It also has the same color breaking spine ticks in the same location as 298s I had earlier this year. My suspicion is that their new process for making the slab less prone to tampering by fully heat sealing the top and bottom have caused severe thermal expansion, which results in this warpage, uh, cooling at different rates across the well. I would recommend looking at your books very carefully, especially from the side to ensure warping is not present and reach out to CGC if it is. So it's kind of hard to see exactly in, in this photo, but this is a, it's a decent photo, um, but it's just, it's difficult to look at these cases along the side. but. I've got a, you know, I've got a slab here, but basically um, what you're, what you've got is you've got the side of the, the case and you've got the, the inner well. So if you're not familiar with CGC cases, you have the, the hard plastic outside shell. And on the inside, you have another like plastic piece that the comic is sealed inside of. And so what they're saying is that piece inside, the plastic inside is warping and it's basically making a, a, a C shape so that the comic is touching at the top and bottom and creating a bend that's along the comic. And what they're saying is they're saying that the, this is damaging the comic. I mean, maybe it is, but I don't think that's what's happening. And I'll, I'll give some examples. I'll, I'll show why, uh, but just to kind of show that a little bit, like what it's effectively doing is if you have, you know, this like comic that's you know, inside the well, it's bending it like this, you know, so you've got like a bend to it. And if you look at, you know, a comic when, when you've got one like that, I mean, just general handling is pretty much going to bend the comic like that. Uh, so I don't really see that as likely damaging the comic. Also, a lot of times you'll have comics that when you're, when you get the backing boards out of the, uh, when they're, they're shipped to you, they're, they often have a bend like that to them. And that's not damaging the comic but it doesn't mean that it's not a problem. And that's why I'm, that's, that's what I'm going to get into here. So let's, you know, let's keep going down and, and we'll, uh, 
we'll go over a few things because whenever you get these types of topics, it's always going to get people riled up. One thing I don't really understand is how many people seem to be in the CGC Comics fans group that don't like CGC Comics. It's like, why do you expose yourself to something that you hate, like just to be angry all the time? I, I don't, I don't get it. But up to you know, I guess you can do what you want. So let's, uh, you know, let's go down here, and you can see like this is the YouTube video. We're going to talk about that one as well because I thought that one had some really good images that we can we can talk about. And then obviously there's you know people in here that are that are upset. You're dealing with a corrupt company, all this kind of stuff. Um, there are some comments in here where someone goes like, if there's a spine tick, it's not a nine eight anyway, which is wrong. Uh, we know you can have spine ticks and nine eights. You can have at least two, and sometimes you can have three. Um, and so that's just, that's a totally separate topic, but we know that's how CGC grades. If you have a problem with that, my recommendation is don't buy CGC graded books. Actually don't buy any graded books. Cause that's going to be like that with CGC, CBCS, BGX. I'm sure it's going to be like that with PSA. So just, you know, graded books might not be for you, <laughs> at least high grade graded books, like nine eights, nine sixes, that kind of thing. So let's start, you know, let's start going down here and we're going to see an example. So this is one of the people that commented on the post about something they got back. And I believe this is also a 9-8. I don't think this is the same. Yeah. I believe this is also a 9-8. And like I said, like this could easily be a 9-8. I, I know some people are going to freak out at me about that, uh, but this could easily be a 9-8. It looks like it has at least two, if not three, color-breaking ticks. I mean, it's on the edge there. Like I would say it's probably a 9-6. But I think somebody in the comments said this should be like a 9-0 or a 9-2. It might have even been this, this person. It should be a nine. And that's not, that's not how it works, right? Like these little indents that you see here that you can see in the light, those generally aren't counted against the book. We've heard from Matt Nelson that you can have that type easily in 9 nines. Like that's not what you need to worry about. You need to worry about the color breaking ticks. But what's going on here? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to my full screen for a moment to, to show this is what I think is going on here is, you know, you've got, you've got a book and I've got it outside so I can show you the, the bend. So if you bend the book back, like if you bend it back like this, you can see generally everything looks smooth along the spine. There are some spine ticks, like you can see clearly there are spine ticks on this book. The instant I bend it this way, look at how those spine ticks look, you know, like it, it focuses on those weak points where those spine ticks are and it creates folds or bends in the paper that pick up light that make any given flaw look significantly worse. And, you know, the instant you, you undo it, you know, you go back to like this, it's like, Oh yeah, they're, they're fine again. And then you go like this and they look worse. And, and so what I think is, is happening there is that it's not, I don't think it's actually damaging the book. I think it's just making that flaw look worse because of the uh, the fold in the paper, the bend in the paper. And you can see that here, let's uh, go back to the, the normal screen. And you can see that right here. You know, it's like, it's it's creating a focal point on for, for the stress from that bend on this spine tick. And so now you get this thing that looks like, oh, this should be a, an 8-0, you know, or something like you have some huge crease in the cover, but it's not actually a huge crease in the cover. And I've, I've come across these types of, of, you know, posts in the past where I've seen this in CGC cases before where it's a high grade book and there's like a spine tick. And for whatever reason, it, it's got something in the... It, it's got something where it's caused this in the case and people think that it's like super damaged, but the instant you crack it out of the case, it looks perfectly fine. We've seen this as well with the, you sometimes will get these little waves on the top of the case. And I think it's probably because of humidity when they're slabbed down in Florida and then you go somewhere else and you get these little waves in the case, the instant they're cracked out of the case, it look perfectly fine. But when someone's looking at it in the case, it doesn't look as good because you've got these ripples and they pick up the light. And the reason that this is such a big problem and the reason why it, I'm holding off on submitting right now because of this is because I see slabbing having two main purposes for me personally. One of them is presentation. I mean, you can see, see behind me. I mean, I, 
I put slabs up much more often than I put a raw book up. I like the way slab books look when they're on a shelf and they're on a wall, whatever. I, I just, I think they look better. I like them in the slab. And so presentation purposes, this is taking away from that presentation. This is making the book look worse. So that's a huge problem because not only for, for my own presentation, I know if I get a book slab that I'm going to sell and it has this, I'm going to hear about it from the buyer. I'm going to, so that person is going to be like, this isn't a nine, eight. They're going to do exactly what's going on right here. They're going to go, this isn't a nine, eight, or this isn't a nine, or this isn't a whatever, or this flaw wasn't disclosed or something like that is going to happen. So from a seller's perspective, this is also a huge problem because it's going to be a big problem when you try to sell those books, having to deal with the customer on the, on their end, when they see this. Uh, the other big reason I see for grading is, is for value determination. You know, I've talked about that before. Uh, now I know some people will say protection for the book, but in my personal opinion, there's a lot better ways to protect the book than grading. I think grading adds a lot more risk for damage to the book than if you just, if your sole goal was protection, sole goal is protection is get some mylar, some fullbacks, put them in there, you know, get some chamber paper you want to put on the inside, you'll be fine. Um, but all the additional handling that goes into grading, um, just the, the, I've talked about the shifts that can go in in the case, that kind of thing. Like I wouldn't say personally protection is not the reason why I would get a book graded, but visual appeal presentation is a big part of it. And this clearly uh, is a negative there for that. Now I'm going to jump over to the CGC forums and you can see here, uh, this is the post that it started back in May 14th. And so that's why this has been going on for, for a little while. And I just, I hadn't heard about it until this Facebook post that was much more recently within about, I think the last week or so. So this person says, is anyone else getting books back with warped inner wells? Uh, this is why people think that this is likely something that's a result, like was said in that last post, a result of maybe some type of countermeasure or attempted countermeasure to the swapping of, of books and, and all of that. Uh, but this person says they got eight boxes back, opened four of them. Uh, slabs seem to have warped inner wells that are concave in the middle, uh, you know, that kind of thing. And so then they're just, you know, they're showing here, this is a really good picture of this, where you can see this, where you've got it touching at the top, then the book touching at the back. So you've got front, back, front. So that's that, you know, that C shape for the, for the book. And, you know, here's one where it's almost even a little worse. It's, I think they're, they've referred to this as like an S shape in the, uh, uh, in the, uh, in other posts, but it's like, it's still, it's just front to back, but it kind of does a, you know, like, I don't know, I think an S shape, whatever. Uh, but the result is the same. And so the outcome is, and if we go down to uh, seeing some, some posts here, this is what we're seeing. You know, this person has, you know, they, they're showing that when you have that flex on the book, it makes this spine tick. I mean, this is a nine, eight. I don't think it's damaging the book, but it finds that weak point and it flexes there and it causes the paper to move, which then gives a reflection point you know, for the light, which makes it look way worse. And so from presentation, it's a big deal. And you can see that, you know, here, you know, that kind of thing. So there's that one. Now, the other thing was you might go, it's like, oh, this is only a problem for nine eights. But uh, you keep going down and we, you know, and here's some, just some more examples of, of what we're seeing. And so you might think it's like, oh, this is only a problem for like nine eights, nine sixes, nine fours, whatever, like books like that, they're going to have just a few flaws and this is going to accentuate those few flaws. But here he's got this Baker Diary Secrets number 21, a 5.5. This was the before picture, right? Like this is the before picture of this book. He got it recased. I can't remember what he said if there were scratches or something, but he got it recased. And now look at it. Like now in the light, you've got all these little folds that are showing up. And you can see he shows from the side. Again, it's got that, that bend to it. And so it's not. Like that's where it comes up to, to me because most of the books I'm sending in are not nine eights, nine sixes, nine fours. They're, you know, they're books between like a two and a six, you know, golden age books, that kind of stuff. And I don't want my books to present like that, you know? So if I get a book pressed and all that, I want it to look smooth. 
you know, that's why people are paying all this money to get your books pressed and cleaned and everything. And then to have it put in the case and have it flex. So then it looks worse again. I, I mean, it's, it's frustrating. And now, like I said, this was, this was from May and there was a response from, from CGC in here, I believe from CGC Mike, uh, where it says CGC identified a batch of inner wells that were warped and removed from production, but appears that these got through. Please send the affected books back for, via mechanical error and they'll be taken care of. But this was May. We're in August and we are still having people show books coming back that have this problem. That makes it seem like it may not just be some batch of inner wells that have an issue. And I, I can't say for sure, but the fact that this is, we're like three months now. And we're still seeing this, this issue come back for people that are getting their books graded. That seems like more of a, a problem that in the production itself that needs to be fixed in the slabbing process that needs to be updated. And yeah, it sucks that they, you know, they probably are trying to come up with some way to resolve the, you know, the scam issues to prevent that kind of thing, but you can't make the book look, look worse from, you know, from the fix. Right. So that's just, I thought this one would be useful because if you want to check out all the, I mean, there's paid, I think there's like 30 pages or yeah, 21 pages of this stuff. So if you want to come in and read all that, you're welcome to, I'm, I'm not interested in reading all of it. Uh, but this gives you an idea of what's going on there and just shows that it's not just new books. It's not just high grade books. This is going to also impact books that are lower mid grades that have these spine flaws and it's going to accentuate those flaws. So uh, the other, and, and this is where I, I just, I wanted to show that this was the, this is uh, page 19 and this was Monday of this week. This is in August and it's still happening. People are still seeing this. So it's definitely not something where to me, where it feels like this is just one batch that, you know, just had to get pulled. This is, this seems to be a pretty ongoing situation right now. Now, the last thing I wanted to do here is jump over to this YouTube video. Uh, so this is from Make Room Collectibles. Make sure to go and give them a, you know, give them a sub. So he's clearly very upset <laughs> about these books. And I can fully understand. You pay all this money, you get the books pressed and cleaned and, and graded and everything. And then they come back and they look worse than what you're expecting them to be. And so he's saying he's, he's, he's the title of the video is I'm done with CGC grading warped inner wells damaging comic book. And this is from June 17th of 2024. So this was about a month and a half ago, but like I showed in the CGC one, uh, they are, uh, people are still seeing this, this happen, but here we can see some examples of what, of what he's, of what he was seeing. So he's showing, it's really hard to see the side view on his, this one, you can see it a little bit where you've got that, that warped inner well, but what's really uh, good about his video here was being able to see the actual uh, reflection like this, like he gives some really good images of like, this is a, I think this is a nine, four ASM two fifty two, And that's a book that's definitely going to have spine ticks like a nine, four, unless it's like a really small corner crease and it's like a perfect spine. It's almost certainly going to be a nine, four. Cause it has somewhere between five and, and seven spine ticks, something like that. And you can see here, like those spine ticks are being accentuated and they make it look much worse. Now, like I said, I don't think it's actually damaging the book. I think if you cracked this book out, took it out of the inner well, and you know, then you just you had it laying flat on something, it's going to look normal again. But that inner well is flexing the book and, and causing this, which obviously is a big problem. Uh, and he showed this on on multiple books. He had it on this ASM 252. The first one was in Iron Fist 14, but I, I didn't think there was quite as good of an image of of that one. But the next one was this Wolverine number one, you know, which you can see it very you know very clearly again. It's got this. Fold, like it just looks like a fold in the cover. And obviously, you know, nobody wants to see that in their high grade graded book. So I just wanted to, you know, show a couple examples of these from this because I thought they were really good images of this. So again, make sure, you know, go give Make Room Collectibles a, a sub, like the video, all that kind of stuff. Um, so, I mean, what's the, what's the main takeaway here, right? And so for me, I mean, grading is expensive. I mean, when I send in, usually I'm sending in a submission that's 50 to 70 books. It's costing me thousands of dollars, let alone the cost of 
of getting the books pressed and cleaned. The last thing I want to deal with is this. You know, if I'm spending that amount of money, I mean, even if you're just getting a few grade and it costs you a couple hundred bucks, like you're spending money to get these books slabbed. And a big part of that is presentation. It's, you know, you want to put them on your wall. You want to put them on your shelf. You want to show them to people. And when you see that, it's a big deterrent from using the service. And so I think CGC needs to pay more attention to this. I'm actually, I'm kind of surprised I haven't heard even more about this going on. Like all I've really seen is this, this forum post and that Facebook post. Uh, and I haven't seen too much conversation on it yet, but for me personally, like I said, I'm, I, I hate it that I got to do it again, uh, but I'm holding off. I'm holding off on submitting. I want to see that this has been resolved, that there's some el some other change here. I mean, I, I know I, I didn't make a video about PSA or anything. I was on vacation uh, when that all happened. Uh, but the, you just, you hope that that competition puts some pressure on the, on the, the market, you know, that, that makes CGC improve their cases so that they can compete with the potential for, you know, this other big competitor that's out there. I mean, the UV, you know, UV protection that it supposedly I've, I've heard the PSA cases are going to have and just things like this, you know, like things like this are not acceptable, especially in large volumes. Like if it happens like a one-off and you got to send back in for a mechanical, so be it. Like if it's one out of 50 books or something, but this is people seeing this in like every book in their submission, that is not acceptable. That should be like somebody looking at that on the CGC side should be like, no, this isn't okay. I, I just don't see how CGC can be comfortable or, or happy or proud putting this product out, you know? And I know I'm going to get comments like, oh, it's just about money and everything. It's like, yeah. I get it. Like they're a company that wants to make money, but you make money by making your customers happy. And this does not make your customers happy. You know, this seems like a very simple thing. We, we haven't generally seen this in the past. We, I don't, I'm not aware that I've generally seen this with like CBCS. Like why does the company that should have the most money funding everything behind it have this problem and they need to get it fixed. But enough of that rant. Um, you know, do with it what you will. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm not going to send anything in right now. I'm waiting to see what happens, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one.